This is a Security Weekly production. Black Hills Information Security, the leaders in penetration testing and active defense. Email consulting at blackhillsinfosec.com to request a quote today. This episode of Hack Naked TV is brought to you by IT Pro TV. With IT Pro TV, you gain access to the most important tools needed to prepare for your IT certification. IT Pro TV has thousands of hours of up to date, high quality video content. Course topics include CCNP, CompTIA Advanced Security Practitioner, Ethical Hacking, Virtualization, Cryptography, SSH, Microsoft Server 2016, and more. You can stream their courses live and on demand to your Chromecast, Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, PC, or mobile device. They have one low monthly subscription price and you can cancel at any time. Corporate pricing is available, and clients include Harvard, MIT, UCSD, Stanford, and more. Check out itpro.tv forward slash hacknaked to upgrade your brain with the most popular IT certifications. Use the code hacknaked30 for a free seven-day trial and save 30% off for life. Welcome to another episode of Hack Naked TV. I'm your host, Aaron Lyons, and this is recorded April 8th, 2016. Today I'm going to be talking about the Panama Papers. Uh, what else? Cyber insurance, ransomware, the hacking team, and more. The Panamanian law firm Mossack Fonseca was hacked in an enormous store of 11.5 million documents, mostly emails, was leaked, totaling about 2.6 gig uh, terabytes, I'm sorry, of data. It was leaked anonymously and without any request for payment. The documents go all the way back to the 70s and expose illegal practices used to mask wealth and evade taxes, and there is all kinds of fallout from this. China is completely censoring all mention of the Panama Papers countrywide. The PM of Iceland is resigning. Organizations such as FIFA and political families are finding themselves in hot water. The law firm is claiming that the hack happened on their email server. This leads me to ask, what email server out there has emails dating all the way back to the 70s and has 11.5 million documents on it. Seems a little excessive to me. Email is not file storage. Cyber insurance rates, you might remember that we reported last year that they skyrocketed. 28% increase last year. This first quarter, we're seeing those rates drop dramatically in the light of no high profile breaches this year so far. Uh, they've dropped 13%. So if you're in the business of Shopping around for uh, cyber, woo, cyber insurance, now's the time. Take advantage of those low rates. Lock yourself in. Ransomware. We keep talking about ransomware. We keep on beating this dead horse until it can't get back up. Sands recently posted a blog article on how to prevent ransomware. The link's in our show notes. Great article. Some really good tips in there. Really suggest you check it out. Uh, the firm Stroll... Friedberg, in an interview with CSO Online, is reporting that their incident response is dealing with three to four ransomware incidents a week. That's right. People are going to them three to four times a week and paying them to deal with ransomware. Also, just this past week, another hospital was hacked in relationship to ransomware. Norfolk General Hospital in Ontario was hacked, and its website, which was running an outdated version of Joomla, was serving up ransomware to anyone that visited it. This is patients and staff, anyone else that might have visited their, their website in the past week. The file was served in a download attack. Not a whole lot you could do to protect yourself on this unless you were up to date, patched, maybe running some good antivirus, but we know antivirus is sort of a hit or miss out there. 
So it's been a while since we talked about any news on hacking team. You might recall last July we reported that they had been breached and there was a huge cache of exploits, source code, internal documents, emails, password glitch, and much, much more, totaling about 415 gigabytes of data. Just recently, the Italian government, the hacking team's located in Italy, revoked the company's global export license. Additionally, Italian prosecutors are reportedly launching an investigation into the hacking team and its CEO, David Vincent Vetti, to see if they have been involved in any nefarious activity with their exports. You might recall that we reported that they've been exporting some of their spyware to countries such as the Sudan who don't have great humanitarian records. Last but not least, we reported about a month ago that the Pentagon is offering a bug bounty for its website. Well, that kicks off this month on the 18th and runs through May 12th. But you might not be able to participate. There is a huge list of restrictions, and the least of which include you need a criminal background check. This is all being run by the company Hacker One. The link to the program is in our show notes. You can check out all the restrictions in all the details there. As of yet, no dollar amount for bounties has been released. Thanks for watching. And you can check out all the great shows on Security Weekly at securityweekly.com. Thank you for listening.